Hello there my darlings, welcome to Edwidge a la mode where I share all things fabulous. If it's your first time here, welcome. My name is Edwidge and I'm an image consultant, a personal shopper. If it's your first time here, then welcome. In my channel, I focus on fashion, beauty, lifestyle, fragrances, and I hope you stick around. So in today's video, we are discussing how to look more beautiful every day. These are gonna be steps which I personally practice every single day to look more vibrant, to look more youthful and to look more beautiful and to feel beautiful within myself. I hope you stick around so that I can share these beautiful tips and hopefully help you to glow up in 2024. We have six months left to the year and I want all my girls to look and feel beautiful. Before we get into it though, if you're not following me on Instagram, I don't know what you're waiting for. Please follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and also subscribe to the channel. Without no further ado, I would like to thank today's sponsor, which is Italio Jewelry. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> I really love the packaging. I've been seeing so many of my favorite girls on here talk about Italio Jewelry, and I'm so happy that they reached out, and I'm going to be trying out pieces from them and I hope you are going to like it. Italio Jewelry stands for quality and craftsmanship. Um, it says here that we aspire to give the finest things to our loved ones. That's why we created Italio Jewelry, high quality, unique designs and affordable price. And they have expert designers, craftsmen, production team at Italio are adapt and developing original concept and mixing a style from fine jewelry collections. Whatever you desire, Italio Jewelry can create the ones you want with a head, crown, style. So they focus on um, high quality uh, wedding bands, wedding rings, so many different models that you can choose from. They can even create styles for you if that's what you want, like a custom made. To unbox, this is what we have in here. We are going to unbox it together really beautiful box i think that's really really stunning it even matches my top we love to see it <laughs> one thing i love is a beautiful packaging because i love to unbox i think i should just unbox every day <laughs> thank god i get to unbox things for a living <laughs> okay let's unbox this so what do we have here so in here it comes with a dust bag like so we also have all the details about the company. This is a silver polishing cloth. It comes with more details about the brand. So as you open it, this is what it looks like. Very beautiful, very well put together. It looks very expensive. Look at how stunning this is. It's giving engagement vibes. <laughs> It's giving engagement vibes, I love it. Just look at that Italio jewelry. We love to see it. So let's go ahead and unbox this ring. So as you can see, we have a beautiful, we have a beautiful silver ring in here. I made a mistake with the sizing and I got a size S, but which doesn't fit me. It only fits my pinky. So I will try it on my pinky to show you, but this is what the ring looks like. Let me take off this paper so you can see. So this is what the ring looks like. Very beautiful, very well made. It's a diamante ring all over. This could be, this can be perfect as a wedding band. Also, just to show you what it looks like, I feel like a pimp. <laughs> really giving bling, really giving expensive. And I know the company is sending me a bigger size so that I could wear on the fingers that I would like to, but their pieces are stunning. It feels lightweight. And it, I also picked up these gorgeous hoop of earrings. This is what it looks like. Stunning, stunning, stunning. Um, oh, just look at how beautiful. These make the perfect gift. If it's your woman's birthday or a special occasion, anniversary that's coming up, you could definitely invest in these. I will leave all the links down in the description box. They're not high priced, although they're high quality. They look high quality, look expensive, very luxurious, but their prices are really good and affordable. I picked up these hoops because I don't have anything like this. Let me show you one. It's gold, has beautiful diamante details. Uh, and then we have more diamantes on this side. These earrings are 18 carats gold plated sterling silver. 
as you can see this is what it looks like close up they are very very classy they look very expensive still dainty these could be perfect for an evening and you could wear it during the day also but i just love how lightweight they look they're not too big and the price point is very affordable and the gems are sapphire and the stone color is white thank you so much to italio jewelry for these beautiful pieces i really cannot wait to work with you again all the details will be in the description box let's get into today's video so how to look more beautiful how to look more beautiful is all about how you feel about yourself okay and it's all about analyzing your beauty think about when you look at another woman what are the things that stands out about those women and now when you look at yourself what are the things that you think stands out about you what are the things that most people compliment you on those are your best assets as a woman and i think it's really important to um work on yourself to enhance those things so i'll go first for me when i look at other women i think about the smile I think about their body, I think about their face, okay? I think about how they walk. And one of the things that I find attractive on women is um, a beautiful, soft smile. And when I think about most compliments that I receive, my best assets is my face and you might disagree but i think from from my own analysis my best asset is my face my face is something that i get the most complimented on and when i say my face i mean everything on my face so the structure of my so my face as a surface my eyes my nose and my lips are and my teeth and smile are one of the things some of the things that i personally have noticed over the years that i get the most compliments on it's not my body it's not the way i walk it's not what i wear it's not how i smell although i do get compliments because i, I you know i tend to smell good i think looking beautiful is all about how you feel on the inside it's all about the time that you take to take care of yourself so for me because my face is my best asset i follow a skincare routine every single day i have a morning skincare routine i have an evening skincare routine because my skin is another thing that i i usually get loads, loads of compliments on with or without makeup i always get oh my god it does your skin is so good you have really good skin so drinking a lot of water having a good skincare finding products which works for your skin type so number one i would say go to them go to a dermatologist if you don't if you can't afford or don't know where to go um you can google it you can go on tiktok and find one if that's not your vibe then i would say just go to a store um selfridges harrods boots where they sell skincare and speak to the women or the people who are there and show them and ask for their help to tell you which kind of skin types you have because you really need your skincare to cater to the skin type that you have i see so many women practicing skincare which doesn't even tackle the issues that they have so we all have different skin types we all have different issues that we're trying to tackle i show you what works for me it's up to you to go and do your research try those products see the type of skincare you have because the products may work for you it may not you know because we all have different skin types so it's really important to have a good skincare to enhance your skin i think maybe think about going to a professional to get your eyebrows done because eyebrows frame the face whether you like it or not your eyebrows will frame the rest of your face have you noticed when you're doing your makeup and you don't get your eyebrows right your whole makeup just fails and me personally when that happens i have to do my whole face again because my eyebrows literally makes my makeup and over the years i've learned how to do my eyebrows in a more softest way but that's because i had my eyebrows microbladed with mel's beauty i'll leave her details down below doing getting my brows microbladed has really helped me to look well put together even when i'm not wearing makeup my brows always looked well shaped and the frame literally sits perfectly on my face 
Having symmetrical brows can really shape your face and I think a lot of us downplay this. Having symmetrical brows can really give you that natural facelift, okay? And can make you look a lot more well put together. Invest in good lashes, whether it's strips or individuals. I sometimes get individuals done, but a lot of the times it's only when I'm traveling, but when I'm not, I tend to just wear strips and it's not always, but I think when you do want to go out, think about the type of eyes that you have and think about the type of lashes that will look good on you, lashes that will enhance your face. And I've realized with certain types of lashes, when I put them on, is when I get the most compliments on my eyes. For example, like this one I'm wearing, every time I put this on, I get so much compliments because this is really natural, it's quite wispy, feels the eyes, but it's still very flirty, feminine and soft. It's not too much, you know, it, this could look like it's growing from my own eyes although we know that it's not, but what I'm trying to say is, is that it looks very natural and it's easy when you're speaking to somebody for not to look overpowering. Because I've noticed sometimes I see girls wearing very thick, full lashes. And when you're speaking, when I'm speaking to them, I just tend to focus on how huge their lashes are. <laughs> Cause I'm like, how do you see? And one thing about me is that I can't take thick lashes because they make my eyes look very heavy it starts to make my eyes a bit blurry and it makes me feel very uncomfortable so i actually purchased this set from tiktok shop <laughs> and it's the best lashes i've tried in a very long time i'm going to buy some more the next thing i would say is that you need to invest in your smile <laughs> <laughs> I may not have the most whitest teeth or the perfect smile, I don't think I have, but my smile is something that I tend to get the most compliments on from men and women. It's like, wow, you have such a beautiful, refreshing smile. Like, and I think my teeth and my mouth, I get people telling me, especially men, they say that I have a very nice mouth. <laughs> So this is a compliment that I get a lot. You have really nice mouth. Like your mouth is really attractive. <laughs> Honestly, I'm not lying. I get this all the time. Your mouth is really attractive. You have a very nice smile and like the way your teeth, cause, cause I've been thinking to get my teeth done, but every time I'm just like, oh, everyone tells me at least don't get veneers. Don't get veneers because you have nice natural teeth. But <laughs> so girl, I don't know what to do, but invest in your smile. I believe that we're going through a very difficult time economically. So not everybody has the funds to, you know, get their teeth done, whether it's getting veneers or um, getting crowns or what's the other one? Um, I can't remember, but yeah, you don't have to go to get your teeth done like that if you don't have the funds. But I think it's very important to visit the dentist every six months to get hygiene clean. It's important to brush your teeth twice a day, one in the morning and before you go to bed, because this is the key to having clean white teeth. Most people don't do it. Most people only brush their teeth once a day and I'm telling you, it's a game changer. When you're brushing your teeth, if you don't have the money to go and buy products to make your teeth whiter, I would say use um, a carbonated soda with your toothpaste. I do this when I run out of my teeth whitening. I have a products at home, a toothpaste which I use, which helps my teeth look whiter. Um, because I can't keep going to get my teeth whitened. Um, but if you can get your teeth whitened and you don't have to do it, uh, and you don't have to do it until the year after. So every year you can go to refresh your teeth to get them whiter um, because it's only a temporary solution. What I would say is invest in a good toothbrush invest in a good toothpaste. I will share the ones that I use down below so you can check it out. I also use a purple shampoo like thing for serum for my teeth, um, which really helps the color of my teeth. It removes the yellow stains from your teeth and it makes them look more whiter. So I tend to do this, um, the last time I did it was probably like three months ago. Um, it can make your teeth feel sensitive, so I try not to do it every single day. So now I'm due, I'm actually due to purchase the toothpaste and the serum again. Use it for the next two months, um, and then I wouldn't use it until the end of the year. So this is really important 
different um this is not an ad so i will leave them down below i don't have to show you but if you check the description box you'll be able to see the products which i'm talking about so invest in your teeth look after your teeth brush your teeth and floss please can we floss after a meal especially at night brush your teeth and floss because flossing your teeth will ensure that nothing gets stuck in between there's nothing attractive than speaking to a woman especially a woman or a man and they have like yellow stains stuck and food stuck into their teeth it's not cute it shows that you don't look after yourself it shows to other people that you don't care about yourself one thing that's a good smile and great teeth does it shows people that you take care of yourself I'm telling you it shows people that you take care of yourself because one thing <laughs> one compliment I get a lot from from men is the fact that wow I've never seen a woman take care of themselves like you do like it's crazy <laughs> and I'm like it's just how I am. I've, my mum was very big on us taking care of our bodies, taking care of our mouth, just hygiene was very important to my mum. So this is why it's something that I take on because my mother was like this. She was, you know, my mum, my mum's teeth were white. She had her teeth hygiene cleaned every six months. My mum cleaned her teeth every six months. She'll go to the dentist and they will hygiene clean her teeth and I think it's like 60 pounds I'm actually due to go to the hygienist as well to clean my teeth so make sure you invest in your smile by investing in a very good mouth care so that leads me to makeup makeup is really important in enhancing your face finding the right shade of foundation is going to help you because we spoke about skincare so naturally we know that you are beautiful you are radiant you are drinking your water taking care of your skin the next step is your makeup having the right shade of makeup is what's going to help you to look glowing to look to look glowy to look young and to look beautiful but the first step is your skincare because your skincare will allow your makeup to apply smoothly and beautifully okay so finding the right shade of foundation is what's going to help you to look beautiful when it comes to clothes i always talk about balancing your outfits the same rule applies to your makeup learn to balance your makeup okay if you're going to do bold lips don't do bold eyes don't do bold long strong lashes which is going to overpower your face learn to balance off your features i know that i show my makeup videos here other girls show their makeup routines and we just copy but try not to copy people's makeup but try to apply it to your face every time i watch a makeup look whether it's from a black woman white asian i always watch it and apply it to my face according to my features because if you try to do your makeup how for example there's a, a beautiful lady on uh, tiktok that does makeup uche Uche is one of the most beautiful women I've ever seen online because I've never seen her in person and I follow her TikTok and I try to follow her steps but one thing and I've seen a few people try to follow her steps and then they come back and say oh you know this thing is a scam the makeup didn't come out the same and one thing I'm always saying to women is that you have to remember that Uche is naturally very beautiful and not every woman, not in a bad way, are naturally very beautiful. She's naturally very beautiful, beautiful skin. She knows how to do makeup to enhance her features. So you have to learn how to balance off your face by learning to apply makeup according to your features. It's simple, you know? I don't do bold lips because it doesn't suit me. Occasionally, I will do red lips, but that's the only type of bold lips I will do. But even that, I don't think it suits me so much. This is my vibe. Soft, I'm a lip gloss type of girl. I love a good lip gloss. I love a soft, kissable, full lips. This is why I always do the same lips because it's what gets me feeling sexy. It's what gets me the most compliments. Obviously, I don't do it because of people, but it's because this is how I feel my best. I have one signature makeup look, which I do every time I go out. I know it's boring, but it's what works for me. It's what makes me feel confident. So learn a one particular style of makeup, which you know, every time you, apply your makeup this way 
you do this look of makeup, you are going to feel sexy, beautiful. You are going to be confident when you go out. This is my, um, this is my tip. Okay, the same way I will say have your capsule wardrobe pieces so that you know when you are going out, you can go to your wardrobe and select your capsule wardrobe pieces, which you know works for you. The same rule applies to makeup. The same rule applies to your fragrances, okay? Have, have a particular style of makeup which you know works for you, without a doubt. So it's about finding the right products, learning the right techniques, okay this is really key to looking more beautiful so i always make sure that i do my makeup in a way which is soft and enhances my looks you really have to um pay attention to the things that makes you look a lot more attractive think about the woman that you want to be the women that i aspire to be like or do their makeup in a similar way they all dress very elegantly they do their make makeup in the most softest and flirty way i want to be a soft flirty woman i always tend to follow that sort of guideline i always tend to pay more attention to the makeup that i apply to my face makeup is such an important step to looking and feeling beautiful how to look more beautiful let's now talk about your hair looking more beautiful as a woman when you think about a woman that's beautiful and you see her hair what are the things that you notice about her hair for me it's the fact that her hair looks healthy where there is her natural hair where there is weave it looks natural and complements her as a woman and you can see that she's wearing it with boldness so now let's talk about you when you look at yourself do you see yourself how you see those women i'm sure for most of you the answer is no it's because those women take care of themselves those women know what works for them for example i know which kind of hairs work for me whenever i put this hair on i get the most compliments i'm a wig wearer i wear a lot of wigs but i always make sure that my wigs look very natural for example i don't wear extremely long wigs because they look unnatural okay although we know this is not my hair and it's not natural but it looks like it could be because the length is not too long you know so think about the lengths because i see girls with hair up to their bum you know and especially black women i see you with a long weave to your knees babe it doesn't look natural and it doesn't look classy it takes away from your beauty so think about going shorter you can wear color on your hair like i'm doing but go to the right hair specialist who's going to give you the right balance of color which is going to bring out your face make you look more feminine and this is going to help you look more beautiful okay whether it's your natural or weave or whatever it may be whether you're black, Asian, white, green, yellow, think about the women that you like, the women that you see. What is it about their hair or about them which makes them feel, makes them look more attractive to you? And now we are moving to physical health. When you, again, when you think of women who you aspire to be like, what is it about their physical body health that makes you think, ooh, she is literally my girl i love the way she looks another aspect of looking beautiful is practicing a healthy lifestyle this is by staying fit and eating healthy it's really important to practice a healthy lifestyle i feel the difference when i didn't take care of my body i feel like i've always tried to take care of myself i've always tried to be healthy to stay active but I haven't done it like this in a very long time. For the first time in a long time, I feel so good about myself, about my body. Anything I put on just literally glides on because I've been very active at the gym. I've cut off sugar. I don't eat any sugar anymore. Uh, occasionally when I go out, I will, but at home every single day, even when I make my coffee, I don't have it with sugar. The decision was very hard trust me because i noticed that my face is my best asset and sugar makes my face look puffy so even if you watch 
my videos back you will realize that a lot of the times my face looked puffy because of sugar and now that I've cut off sugar I've seen a massive difference on my face I have the double chin which is even starting to go down face facial balancing is so important guys sorry this takes me back to your face <laughs> facial balancing is so important I think this I think the past few years fillers have become super super popular um, in terms of facial balancing I don't recommend it because I'm trying to um, not get so caught up in all those things you know you know that I enhanced my lips by doing the filler on my lip my lips look really full but in proportion with my face where before they were swollen okay and this is literally it I'm so so happy so I wouldn't get any more fillers on my face but you can consider it if you want but for me the best way to do facial imbalancing facial balancing is to gua sha your face to massage your face in the morning when you're doing your skincare to do it at night time to cut out sugar to exercise it's really really important okay it has really helped me lifting my face naturally I do my eyebrows I lift it it has been you know working for me beautifully i think i there's a skincare video that i did and i spoke about this so i would share that with you um so that you can go and watch it so back to your body training your body will literally help to change the structure of your body i have noticed a huge difference since i started lifting weight um i'm yet to even start with my personal trainer but just the work that i have been doing alone I've seen a huge difference that my shape is starting to change all I need to do now is you know core train because my stomach is my weakest area I cannot train my core I find it so difficult so this is something that I need to start doing eat healthy like I said no sugar I don't drink alcohol on a regular um, when I go out occasionally I will have but sometimes I go out and I don't even drink and even when I go out I'm trying my best to still eat healthy and not think, oh, I can eat whatever I want. No, occasionally I can have it, but it's not every time I go out that I have to have sweets, I have to have sugar, I have to eat bad. I want this to be more of a lifestyle than just I'm on a diet. So think about the lifestyle that you want. You know, you want to be a woman that's healthy, that goes to the gym. And I think, to be honest, you don't have to go to the gym to be healthy or to be for your physical body to change. You don't have to go to the gym for your physique to change. You could work out at home. There are loads of videos on YouTube you could follow. I've been doing my 10K steps each week. I might do it twice a week and the rest I go to the gym. So try walking 10 steps, 10K every day. This is such a great way to, um, to lose weight. But the best way is also to gain muscles so you can buy some weights from Amazon and you can train yourself at home. Super easy. You can buy weights for £20. You know, you don't have to go to the gym because most people don't enjoy going to the gym. But for me, I enjoy going to the gym because it gives me an excuse to leave my house. I work from home. It gives me an excuse to leave my house, to, um, to see other people, to talk to other people, okay? If you don't have the time to go to the gym, if you have kids and you can't leave your kids alone, buy the equipment and do it at home there's no more excuse in 2024 if you want to look more beautiful and appear more younger and feel good about yourself there are no more excuse you have to get up today and make change not tomorrow today you can start tonight by going for a walk for 20 minutes and then tomorrow you can do your 10k the reason why i say to lift weights try it because it would help you to burn more calories lifting more weight will help you to look to build more calories to burn more calories sorry and to burn more fat which will make you to look slimmer one of my focus points now that i'm working out is um, working for my own strength although I'm lifting at times but at home I also have a video that I work out to with which focuses on core strength and focuses on your using your own body weight and using your own body weight is one of the best ways to even tone up to look leaner and to lose weight so which is something that I'm focusing on but I've seen a huge difference to my body and how mentally it has enhanced how I feel about myself. Um, just the ability to just put on whatever I wanna put on, the ability to, you know, look on myself and be like, yes, I can see the difference. Uh, so this is really good. I'm toning my arms. I've lost a lot of fat on my arms because a few months ago, my arms were huge. 
boots back to the teeth can we talk about veneers please <laughs> i have seen some ridiculous veneers in my lifetime there's nothing wrong with getting veneers and i think it's a great way it's a great way to invest in your smile but if you are going to get veneers please try and get them as natural as possible because you want it to look as natural as normal to your normal teeth don't go and get something extremely white like simon kyle i've seen some very thick and white veneers which just look so fake and you don't want that if you want to look more beautiful more young youthful try to get veneers i think chronic veneers are the best in my opinion because they look natural they mimic real teeth and i think if you are going to do your teeth try to do them as natural as possible when your teeth are whiter and um in line it just makes you look a lot more youthful and it lets people know that you take care of yourself are you getting enough sleep looking beautiful is all about resting part of looking beautiful is getting enough sleep is resting your body at night our bodies rejuvenates our bodies repairs itself so it's really important that you get enough sleep some people can function on six hours sleep eight hours sleep ten hours sleep whatever it may be just make sure you are getting more than five hours is recommended eight hours okay make sure at night you are sleeping because i'm one of those people when i don't get enough sleep i'm telling you i don't look as beautiful i tend to look very tired I, i'm you know i lack energy i lack concentration and you're probably thinking adrige what yes when i don't sleep my skin doesn't glow when i don't sleep i'm very cranky i screw my face because i'm tired and i just don't feel like myself and it shows i'm one of those people my face is very expressive it's really important for me to have my rest time and to have me time where i don't communicate with other people it's just me like i've created such a beautiful home in, in my apartment that i love spending time here i I will leave people to be in my home in my own company that's how much i love my own space you know as much as i love my family i love my friends i love being around people but i also just love being by myself and that gives me time to reset it gives me time to relax and i am more beautiful more vibrant when i've had my rest scientifically it has been proven that more and more you have less sleep it will age you quickly you will age very fast and this will make you appear less attractive i i suffered with insomnia so much and from now and then i still do but insomnia has been something that has really really has been wearing me down for a long time and but so i re i decided to study my body and to study myself and one thing i realized was that the less active i am during the day the more active i become at night and less able to sleep <laughs> i know so weird I couldn't sleep at night guys so I realized that it's really important for me to exercise to be a lot active during the day including sports heading to the gym doing my walks and just keeping busy really helps me to give me peace of mind the more I make my body physically tired that's the more I will be able to sleep at night so study yourself what would help you to have more sleep to rest your mind what is it that you are stressing about yeah so stop stressing because stress is a number one killer it would wear you down it will suck your beauty you know i know that as as long as we're alive we're going to have stress we're going to have things that are going to worry us but one thing i don't do anymore i know it's a bit off topic but i don't stress myself anymore because i realize that stress eats me up it eats me up it eats up my beauty it eats up my peace of mind it eats up my aura it eats up everything and the more i'm working on myself and becoming better on this you know soft feminine journey i'm realizing that 
your inner beauty is so important taking care of yourself you know from your from from the inside sleeping resting allowing your body to rejuvenate to reset itself is so important lastly my tip is supplements okay supplements are such a great way to kill two birds with one stone it's such a great way to help you to look younger because collagen is going to give you good skin good um nails and it's going to give you energy take hyaluronic boosters these are going to help your skin to glow i will leave my favorite ones down in the description box it's going to help your hair to grow you know it's collagen is something that has made such a huge difference um in my life um i take it every morning i run out <laughs> at the moment but i need to get some more at the moment i'm only taking hyaluronic um acid tap, um, capsules which are from holland and barrett these are going to give you that healthy glowing skin hyaluronic acid is really good for plumping the skin so i'm taking this at the moment but collagen is so good for your nails your hair and your skin it's gonna it's going to give you that younger and um, stronger skin but at the same time it's really important that you give your body the right food okay the right source of vitamins you eat your greens loads of fish just practice a very healthy diet this will also and have nuts nuts is something that i have been eating a lot i've been eating a lot of almonds and i've noticed a really good difference in my uh, my skin my hair so these natural uh, things will really help you because almonds are also good for lowering your blood pressure so just just a lot of the things a lot you know a lot of the eat try to eat a lot of natural things because they have really good sources um to give you a healthy heart to give you a, a, a healthy flowing blood that just do your research what is your blood type and eat according to your blood type that's really important as well it's something that i have been trying to do that was everything for this video guys thank you so much once again for watching and i'd like to thank today's sponsor italio jewelry for sponsoring today's video i hope my tips were helpful to you and i hope that we can all glow up and look beautiful this summer 2024 um these are literally the tips bible <laughs> these these tips are bible to me and i follow these tips every single day to help me look young beautiful and um yeah and i hope you practice it if it works for you definitely let me know but i want us all to glow up and to look beautiful together so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video don't forget to like comment and subscribe follow me on instagram and tiktok where i share all things fabulous too